What's going on, YouTube? Ah. So, today is a sad day. Today is a sad day because although many of us have known or at least strongly, strongly suspected that season 9 would be the last season of My Little Pony, today it was confirmed by the company themselves that season 9 will in fact be the last season of My Little Pony. And um, I just want to take this moment to just tell you guys what My Little Pony means to me. And um, and also, you know, th th there has been some other news announced today along with that announcement. And um, let's get into that first. First of all, even though Season 9 will be the last season of My Little Pony, it is not even remotely the end of My Little Pony. According to the creators themselves... Um, in fact, apparently there is a new CGI movie, me, uh, move me. <laughs> movie in development right now. I'm, I'm guessing, obviously, it's a My Little Pony movie. Me. Movie? Why do I keep saying movie? Me? <laughs> There's a new My Little Pony CGI movie in development right now. And I, I, there's some people, I guess, hesitant about this for some reason. I'm not sure. I guess some people just don't like CGI or whatever. But, um, not only that, but... Uh, according to this post, they, they've pretty much all but confirmed that there will there, there will be another generation of My Little Pony um, coming out sometime in the future. So even though season nine is going to be the last um, season of this generation, you guys, we can all pretty much expect you know more generations of My Little Pony coming out in the future. So you know it does suck because. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I've never, I've never really gotten into the other generations of My Little Pony um, at all. You know, I tr I did try to watch one of them before, and it was just I, <laughs> I, I couldn't even sit through one. I couldn't even sit through like a couple minutes. It, it, it was that bad. It was that cringy. But this generation of My Little Pony was the first generation that actually made me get into the series and respect the series. And really just changed my entire, you know, outlook and mind about um, ponies and, and, and magic and friendship, you know? Like, now I used to, you know, when I used to think about that in the past, I used to just cringe thinking about it. Like, how can anybody, how can anybody over the age of 15 watch this? And now it's like, you know, I, I just want friendship and magic and ponies just all over my face, people. Like, I just, I just want it all over me, you know? I just want to bathe in it, you know what I mean? But, um... No, I don't know about bathing it, but I'm not. But, but yeah, you, you get what I'm trying to say. Like, now I just, it, it, it just, it, it changed my entire mindset. Now I just love My Little Pony, and I just, I can't wait to see more of it in the future. But, um, My Little Pony, to me, like, when I first got into My Little Pony, I wasn't really, it, I told the story before, but, I, you know, I, I, I'll tell it again. Um, when I first started reacting to the show, my original plan was to just react to it as like something fun to make fun of because I was fully expecting to go into the show um not and not really like it but just you know just just I was expecting to go into it and just have fun poking fun at the show because it was so goofy and stupid that was my that that's what I planned to do originally but I just got I got attacked and, and surprised by all the friendship and amazingness of the show. And I, I, I quickly, very quickly, became a huge, huge, huge fan. As, I would go as far as to say that My Little Pony is absolutely in my top three favorite cartoons of all time. Bye. My Little Pony, I was going through a really rough time in my life um, around the time that I got into my, uh, my Little Pony back in 2017. I was going through, some of you guys know this if you if you follow me closely, but uh, I was going through a really rough time in my life. And um, My Little Pony was there. 
and that might sound um lame or whatever you want to call it but back when i was going through a really rough time in my life my little pony was there for me and not just my little pony but the community the community was there i can honestly say that my life improved it improved because of my little pony and there's not a lot of tv shows if any i mean maybe one or two others that i can say that about but there's not many tv there's not that many tv shows that i can honestly sit here and, and tell you that because i watched this tv show it improved my life or it bettered my life or it changed my life I, th- there's just not that many tv shows that i can say impacted my life in any real me- you know meaningful way but My Little Pony is one of those TV shows that I can't absolutely say that about. Absolutely. And I'm very excited to see what else the creators of the show, Hasbro, what else they have planned for us. Because like I said, like like you guys can see on the post here, and I'll, I'll put a screenshot so you guys can actually read what they said. But this is not the end of My Little Pony. This is just the beginning. So I'm excited to see what's next. Um, I am sad, very sad to see that, you know, this is the end of this uh, this generation. Because like I said, I love this generation. I loved, I loved most, honestly, I can honestly say season eight was the only season that I didn't really like that much. So, you know, maybe, you know, maybe it's about that time. It probably is about that time for, you know, this generation to end. But season eight was the only one that I can honestly say that I did not really enjoy. But every other season, I liked a lot. You know, I have my favorites and whatnot. But I can honestly say, besides season eight, I loved or liked every season of the show. And I love the characters. I don't know. I don't know how I would feel about, you know, moving on to future generations without having, you know, my Twi Twi, my Pinky, my Starlight, my Flutter Butter, my Rarity, my Applejack, my Dash. You know, I don't know how I would feel. Hey, I mean, hell, even my Spike. Well, I could probably I could probably do without Spike. But but I'm just saying, like, I don't know how I would feel having other generations without those characters like i'm hoping that they can keep the characters but just make them different somehow like i don't know i don't know how that works i don't know but i don't i don't know if i could still love my little pony the same way i do now if we're just gonna have completely new characters you know and and just you know and 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 not have the old ones at all i don't i don't i don't know I, i'm gonna try it because i feel like i owe my little pony that much to at least give it a chance so you can pretty much guarantee that whatever new generation they come out with i'm gonna at least try it um i feel like i owe them i feel like i owe um the company and 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 the franchise that much at the very least you know what i mean but um I, i feel like they i feel like they've earned my respect to at least give them that much but um yeah but anyways people (laughs) I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video whatever, and whatnot, but uh, let me know what you thought about this. Uh, what, do, what do you think about this news or whatever about, you know, the, the generation coming to an end? Like I said, we, we've pretty much all we, we've we, we've pretty much all have known this for a long time, but it hasn't been confirmed until just, you know, right now. So how do you feel about it? How do you guys feel about the new CGI movie coming out? So I don't know when it's coming out. It's not confirmed yet, but um how do you guys feel about that and how do you guys feel about it being you know cgi and whatnot and um how confident are you that this new generation can be you know at least uh as good and as magical as this previous or as or as this current generation how confident are you that they can recapture that same magic and that same friendship you know what i mean but uh, yeah let me know in the comment section people but uh I think I've said enough, and uh, I think, I think that I'm done talking. Until next.